It's it's an implement for for keeping things warm. Like an oven? Yes, like an oven. Look, let me get you some food. There's a cafeteria up the road. Oh, very good. What would you like? I don't know. Some fresh orange juice, something very nice. Make me surprised. Hmm? <laughs> Boo. What? Um, nothing. Ah. There's the culprit. Possibly. I'll just get a second opinion. So she knew he was having an affair. So there's been a fight and he's strangled. So he's called up his girlfriend. She's come over and she's helped him tie the body up in brown paper, tying it with string. What about the aspirins? Well, it's got to give you a day, can it? All that carting bodies about. Hello, Sylvia. All right, Harry. Could you run me up some orange juice, please? Orange squash? Uh, no, uh, juice. Orange juice? I don't understand. Well, I, I think you squeeze the oranges together. Why would you want to do that? Well, they, they drink it on the continent. It's for a French woman. I'd quite like to impress her. It could make the squash strong. I'd rather you squeeze some oranges. Oh, and a cheese sandwich for me, and uh, something surprising for her. What? She said she wanted me to surprise her. Oh. Uh, what's your most uh, exotic vegetable? I've got a sweet somewhere. Nothing more surprising? No. Well, could you do something surprising with it, perhaps? Fry it and put it in a sandwich? Yes, I suppose that would be a surprise. Oh, OK. I don't like to touch another man's tools. Well, get back behind your tree, then. I want to go home. You wouldn't say that if you knew the web of deceit I've had to spin to arrange this weekend. I had to invent a whole new girlfriend, a flamenco dancer called Esmeralda. We can have a weekend of love another time. Don't bet on it. These juices won't keep forever, you know. If I get oil on me, Mama sent me back to Napoli. So far, so good. I think I've fallen in love. Who, Who with? Her name's Bernadette. This is her revolution counter. No, no, I think it's her dynamo. No, no, this is one of them new power steering pump thingies. No, no, the power steering thing, me Bob's all knobbly. Look. No, that's no, not. Well, whatever it is, it's lovely because it's hers. I think she's got a bit of a thing about me, too. So you can ask her out, then? No, no, she's just, uh, she's just passing through. It will remain forever a thing of transient beauty, a, uh, a might have been, and oh well, that's that then, never mind, still, what can you do, sort of thing. Oh, yeah, no, no, that kind. Although it would be lovely to have a French wife. They're very adept in the ways of love, of course. And why do you think they're bred so long and narrow? I, I think they just like Lots of crust. Nudism. Sorry, Ron? Nudism. It's very popular in France. They've got these old villages where you can just go around completely nude. Well, maybe that explains the shape of their bread. If you're coming home from the bakery and suddenly you feel... shy, you can conceal your embarrassment with your loaves of bread. <laughs> what is it? CIA. I believe you have a tree to hide behind. <coughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Did you do this yourself? Yes. 
Well, you've made the classic error of over-biasing your steering drop arm. I'll just adjust that. And while I'm about it, I'll take out your housing and give it a wee polish with a proprietary cleaner. Listen, you irritating man. I am trying to go away for the weekend in a car. I want it to work, just to work. If you so much as lay a finger on my housing with a view to polishing it, I will personally make sure you never work for the AA again. Do I make myself clear? Ah, <laughs> been, uh, been taking a constitutional. Which is that? Lavatory? Uh, no, no, uh, go, going for a walk. Oh, no, no, I was going to the lavatory. Uh, yeah. Here's your lunch. And uh, I think I've uh, nearly solved your little breakdown problem. <laughs> I think you've met more problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Have you ever heard the expression, um, the night is always darkest just before the dawn? Well, it's, uh, it's just before dawn. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> See how they've underlined my name at the top? Oh, yes. <laughs> Lovely. Catherine, do you think I should ring round a few local newspapers and ask them to come and photograph me holding up my letter? Hold a press conference? Oh, perhaps not. I thought it might provide a vision of stability and hope to a younger generation brought up on a diet of atomic bombs and twangy guitars. I entered the service shortly after the war, straight from the army, very much a time of tumultuous change. One day, one was wearing rough-hewn khaki and standing stiffly to attention at all hours. The next, one was... <laughs> I was a fiercely dedicated patrol, of course. I used to sleep in my uniform. Oh, no, that was the army. Still, I would have slept in it had I been asked. Do you miss the open road? Oh, yes, you don't get the same sense of mobility sitting behind a desk. You could always put some wheels on it. Is that Mr. Pettifer and Mr. Mumps carrying those signs? Seems to be. Where's Mr. Bannerman? I'm having trouble fixing a citron. Have you come to see my letter? No. <laughs> so I just remember the other day. What? And uh, he was a bit lost. So I'll get some maps out of him. Excuse me, can't you read? Pardon? Don't you pardon me. Look, nothing to see. On Don't your eyes, Mum. Come on, on your way. Off you go. Yep. Just a grisly murder scene. <laughs> yep. Off you shoot. Huh? What's this? One of my famous coffee mornings. What's it look like? The steering went. Can we swap? I'll finish up here. I'm having a bit of trouble isolating a problem on a Citroen on Mill Lane. What oh, Citroen? I'll join you shortly. With great pleasure, mm. Harry. Joyce? Hello. Would you uh, waggle the steering wheel for me, please? Ah. Have a nice weekend, Joyce. You can go now. No, I have to wait and see you off. AA procedure. So, on your way and happy... Shut up!
boy. What? Legs there. What's happened to our car? Mm. Is this your vehicle, sir? Yes. We've been for a walk. Just a walk, then? Yes. Why? It's just an AA exercise, that's all. But, um, but we've finished now. Sorry to inconvenience you. Um, we won't be a minute. Um... On your, On your way, way and, and happy, happy motoring. motoring! Well, easy mistake. Anything a wee bit tricky and the word goes out. Send for the Spanner Man. Get Mr. Banner Man. Banner Man! Oh, a lovely name. The name of a strong man. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you have a special hands. You must have broken many hearts with those hands. It's a thought, isn't it? Had a miserable day? I've had better. Me too. You wanna hop on? Is it allowed? Oh. Yes. Why should those have all the fun? Because they're better at it than us. Mmm. You might want to grip with your thighs. Better? Mmm. Much better. Much, much better. A new series of The Last Salute begins next year. Vintage comedy on the way later tonight here on BBC One. Ronnie Barker and David Jason star in Open All Hours at 730 